Okay, um, first of all, I picked up this Logitech C310 um, webcam. I figured I'd try my hand at Skype. I uh, was on Skype several years ago for a very, very short period of time uh, because my ex-boss was on there way back in the 60s they used to work for. But he was never on, so I just never bothered with Skype. So uh, I just never used it. And I don't even know my name and password, so I just opened up another account. And uh, I tried this camera out, and it, it's pretty good for the money, and I got it for 25 bucks on sale at Best Buy today. As you can see, it's my screen name, Old Goat. 992. So uh, I'm very happy with the webcam. This is it right here. It doesn't like to stay on my monitor too good, but it does have a little stand on it. But I don't have the best background for videoing in the house here because everything's so crowded. But, anyways, I just wanted to give you that update. And now we'll go outside and uh, we'll show you what I've been doing. Okay, things look a little different here. It's only because the space between the gen house and the dumpster, uh, you know, trash can holder there, uh, was an empty spot that I figured I'll just build a little something in there uh, to store some stuff that I can store outside. Like maybe these water bottles, when we lose power, we have to have water to flush the toilets and so forth. So I was thinking of storing them here and making two doors with a wooden lattice, which I'll paint redwood, so that the air can get in, because we do need it for the generator. Here's the uh, uh, generator intake here. So all I did is, um, I had some roofing material left over. All I did is make a uh, framework and uh, everything in here is screwed in. There's very little nailing involved because that DeWalt uh, drill driver works really well. And to try to fix this, now this is all done off video. I can't do everything on video because I get kind of busy and I don't bother getting the camera out. Um, to have this roofing material come right up against here, I have to bring the material up. And it kind of looks ratty, so I, I cut some pressure-treated plywood, um, half inch. Kind of a sloppy job. I'm not too happy with it. This will get painted redwood. And I clamp this down because I have to hold the edge down for the roof and cement here. And things like this here, like the uh, the water jugs and stuff, I'm weighting this plywood down. I got this, it's a 4x8 sheet, and, and I used half of it for the roof of that structure I just showed you. But this had an awful bow in it, so I put all this weight in it. And I got it so it's pretty straight now. I'll keep the weight on it. It rained a little bit last night, but getting water on, on untreated plywood isn't going to hurt it if it's not done constantly. Um, I got this for 70% off. All the wood now at Home Depot is 70% uh, off, but you got to buy the full sheet, and it's usually cut in half. This one wasn't. I had them cut down in half. So this is a 48 by 48 piece here. Another pressure treated 2x4, which I may or may not use. I'll just put it in the back of the shed. So I've been busy with this project outside and I haven't had too much time to do this chainsaw. Um, it rained last night and this morning and it's cloudy today and it's it's in the 60s, which I, get, which I like. Um, what this saw is missing is the safety tip that goes on here. I'm very, very leery of using this without that safety tip on there. Because if I'm in out here and I'm cutting brush or something, and I happen to tip this here, this thing's going to come back and it's going to be disaster. 
on eBay. I can get them. They're about six bucks. Uh, but I don't know about the shipping for the little tip that goes on this uh, Home Depot don't sell it Home Depot does have the Oregon chain uh, for this and This chain is not very sharp And I watch videos on chain sharpening and that's a tedious job and uh, I would just change the chain and Thanks to some of the fellows that have been helping me out uh, Ron included um there's an adjustment screw here, which I haven't figured out. I'm reading the book. I'm not sure what you're supposed to do. Pull this bar out after you loosen this, tighten that, and then I would think that once you lock this bar down with this nut, how the hell is this screw going to move that thing in and out, you know? But that's the way the book tells you. Tighten this down and then adjust the screw. I mean, that don't make sense, but okay. Um, this will not run except at full throttle, ha half to full throttle. If you, you know, you turn the choke off and she kind of like, if you full throttle, it'll run. But I haven't put the 16 to 1 mix in there. Uh, if you're using, according to the book, if you're using uh, home light oil, use 32 to 1. If you're using another brand of oil, 16 to 1. What I got in here now I think is 40 to 1. That's why I only ran it for a very short time. So we don't want any uh, and I don't want any damage to the engine. So until I get that safety tip on here, I'm not going to do anything with it. But um, if I got the carburetor problems, um, well, let's put it this way. If I get in there and mess around with that carburetor, there's a 90% chance that it'll never run. But the question is, as long as it runs full throttle, which is what you're supposed to do from what I've been reading and watching YouTube videos, if you're running full throttle, that's what you want to do when you're cutting wood. So, so you have to keep restarting it because it won't idle. So uh, every time you make a cut and you go right through and then you let off on the trigger, she'll stall. But then you restart it again and you do your thing again. So, and that's it. I think it's raining a little bit. But anyways, that's what I want to do. Uh, I got some YouTube, uh, uh, not YouTube, I got some uh, places bookmark for uh, eBay um, thanks to Savage No More I believe uh, was telling me about uh, the eBay has the uh, parts and it, we should we should all know and especially me that uh, <laughs> when it comes to old things eBay's the place to go but like I say Home Depot does sell the chains but they're 14 inch and I gotta establish, I gotta pull this off and find out what size chain this is. But I don't have anything to cut right now with it, so I'm not too, too worried about it. But that's a project that is in the future. Um, last two days I've been getting bargain wood. This is also 70% off, one by three pine, eight foot in pretty good shape the tip was kind of it was actually a 10 footer and the last two feet was bad so i cut it off we had a you know crack in it this is what i'm going to make the door trim out of and then i'm going to nail a wooden lattice when i do get it on there so it's going to be two doors with a lattice wooden lattice so i can paint it redwood so what i'm going to do is i just have like like this here only i gotta have air coming in it cannot restrict this so what goes in here is going to be stuff for the outside. Um, maybe this thing, uh, probably like I say, water for backup. And if that's the case, I'll put a shelf up in here and store some more water jugs in here. Instead of having them out in the yard, it looks like hell. Um, because when we lose power, we lose our water. And uh, like I say, this water is only for flushing toilets and we uh, usually get a gallon or two or three 
of uh, uh, spring water and have that in the house uh, for occasions like this. So that's uh, that's it. Um, you can see I've been busy. Is the sawdust, <laughs> the evidence of the sawdust and stuff here. And uh, this wood might, I really need more weight because this is uh, 5 eighths plywood. Actually, it's some oddball size here. It was marked on here. Uh, yeah, 1930 seconds. Okay. I don't split hairs. It's less than three quarters and more than a half. So it's um, about five eighths, close enough. Uh, not pressure treated. This is regular plywood. And that's what I used on the um, roof of that little storage area that I'm building there. So that's about it. Um, like I say, I'm going to try Skype out. Old Goat 992 is my Skype name. So if you're out there and you want to, and you have Skype, just let me know who you are and, uh, you know, maybe the old goat will chat with you. I don't know. It's new to me, so I'm not normally into that sort of thing, but I figured I'd give it a try and we'll see how it works. So thank you for watching. Have a good day.